Hello everyone, I'm Jennifer. Welcome back to part four of the mini series. Today we are gonna be working on the back of page three. And for the back of page three, I created what I'm calling a pocket mini book. And it's held by another little flap that closes it. All the project Materials and measurements are going to be in the description box below. So go ahead and give that a look before we get started. For this project, we are gonna need four five and three quarters by four and a half inch envelopes. Now this could be envelopes you had around the house. This could also be envelopes you make yourself. Either way, it'll work. What we want to do is we want to make sure that the flaps for our envelopes are turned towards the front of the envelope. And the very first envelope, we want to make sure that the flap is tucked nicely inside. Grabbing your first envelope, making sure that the, the little tab is to the left. You want to add just a little glue to the tip here. And then we're going to carefully insert just the flat part into our base envelope, right in the inside. And what you're going to do is just make sure that the first envelope doesn't go over the crease line of the second envelope. You want it right up to the edge, but not over it, so that when you open your flaps, it doesn't bend or crease. I'm gonna do the same step for the remaining two envelopes. If you would like this to hold even more pictures, feel free to add more envelopes to your book. I just put glue over the whole piece. I do not recommend that. I don't know why I was doing that. I should have just kept it on the first one. Right here, it didn't create a problem, but it gives more of an area space for it to glue down before you get it in place. So I really recommend just gluing the very front tip of that flap when, before you stick it in your envelope. I'm working with art glitter glue and it dries super, super fast. So I have to be very deliberate in when I'm putting my paper down, it has to be right where I want it to. Now, if you have a glue that um, doesn't dry as quick and gives you a little more wiggle room, then you would probably be fine. You just have to move your paper into this right spot that you want it to and it'll be fine. But with the art glitter glue, I have to be more deliberate. And see right here, it's stuck down and glued and dried before I was ready. So I'm just pulling it apart. I'm gonna grab an extra envelope because I have a whole pack of them just in case. And then I'm just gonna turn the flap again to the front side. And this time I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue like I should have right there in the tip and slip that one in. Now this back piece right here of the envelope, this would be the part that you add your glue to and glue it down in your album on top of your decorative paper. And it should open like this. Next, you're gonna grab your teal cardstock and you're gonna need to cut seven five and a half by four pieces to cover 
your envelopes with like I showed you in the beginning walkthrough of this page. On top of my blue matting, just on the front page here, I added a four by three decorative um, piece, piece of paper from my collection, which is the Simple Stories. And I just went ahead and matted that on top of my blue. It closes together with a magnetized flap, which we use two of the flat disc neodymium magnets for this. And it's the same way I constructed the flap for the waterfall closure. I'm searching for the paper that I used to show you guys, but um, my children were playing at my table, so maybe it got misplaced. But anywho, it came from the Simple Stories. It was like a page of four, and I just cut one of them out. And then I cut some strips to do the decorative parts for the flap. Thanks for watching part four, everyone. Part five is gonna be coming up shortly. And in that one, we will be doing the final details on the whole album and decorating. Until next time.